You're live. Hip hip hip. A lot, a lot, a lot of hip hip hip. Friendship, friendship. It's a perfect blendship. When other friendships have been forget, ours will still be it. A lot, a lot, a lot. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. Disney. It's so great to have you with us today. And if it's your first time, you are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Oh my goodness. Are you watching with us today? That's so exciting. We're gonna be watching a fun movie. What movie are we watching today? It has three words. Can you guess those three words? It has four words. Nobody counts the. You know what we're watching? Rocket Man? <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Peter. I go by Dr. Disney here on YouTube, and this is my good friend. I'm Dale, I go by Dale Song here on social media. And I am a real Dr. Real Disney fan. He's a real musical theater, real vocal coach, and we're gonna be watching Lady and the Tramp! Disney's animated classic. I've never seen this movie. You've never seen this movie. We watch movies on this channel. We also do a whole bunch of things like medical reactions and we have some spicy songs in the works. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> And if you would like to watch more, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the channel. You can also support us on Patreon. And if you do that, then you get access to early reactions and a whole bunch of stuff is, but primarily the Discord, which is where a lot of the people who are currently here. So welcome everyone. We're gonna be watching. We actually have to jet exactly at three. I think that's better for everyone else's timing too. Cinque, quattro, tre, due, uno. Let's go. Oh, this is one of the older movies that has like the opening credits in the beginning. So we can still and talk. Music. Also, I was wondering, what do you all think? Who's the tramp and who's the lady? I think if I had to guess, I'm the tramp and he's the lady. So vote below. <laughs> Songs by Peggy Lee and Sonny Burke. Peggy Lee! They had to have put this in afterward because the, the tale of Peggy Lee is that she did not get credit for writing the music. Peggy Lee was an amazing big band singer and uh, soloist um, it was a wonderful career and years years later um, I love her artistry and she wrote the songs for Lady and the Tramp and originally apparently she didn't get credit I see it here but this looks like it was redone mm. I was gonna say oh my goodness Peggy Lee the person you talked about last night who didn't get credit for Lady and the Tramp we should watch Lady and the Tramp <laughs> Oh, these are the, oh, animators. Actually, animators, they also did not get credit until a certain time. They had to walk out on Disney. And Disney did not want to give them credit. And, and Walt? You, yeah. Said, In the whole history of the world, there is but one thing that money cannot buy. The wit, the to, wag. To wit. Oh, to wit. The wag of a dog's, dog's tail. tail. So it is to all dogs, be they ladies or tramps, that this picture is respectfully dedicated. Cute. I love dogs. Dogs love Dale. That's true too. It's a Christmas movie? It starts this way. Is this Balto? <laughs> no. Love. He sounds like a choir singer. Right? It's a boy choir singer. It's for you, darling. Merry Christmas. Wow. Oh. They He's definitely okay. remastered this. Oh, sure. You like her, darling? Oh, I love her. What she looks like she's from the Peter Pan movie. I guess it's around the same time. Oh, she's adorable. Hit her butt. Ugh. Of course. Come on, lady. Over here. Isn't it interesting that they always animated animals but never dared to, like, animate faces as frequently? Well, this is focused on the dogs, the whole story. Snug as a bug in a... Uh-oh. Good night, lady. Now, don't worry, darling. She'll go right to sleep. <laughs> no, no, lady. Ooh. Here. She's smart. Oh, look. Just for tonight. Now, darling, if we're going to show her who's master, we must be firm from the very beginning. Is that true? It's kind of true of dogs, yeah. Aww. 
<laughs> oh. This is so sad. Stop that now. Stop it. Jim is the villain. He's the naysayer. Quiet now. You hear me? Back to bed. The orchestra is so dramatic behind this. Mm. Persistent. <laughs> Great shot. Yeah. That's something that New Disney doesn't do. Give you um, alternate perspectives. Yeah, you don't really get to see the character's viewpoint as much. This story, to be fair, is a lot to do with their perspective. Mm -hmm. I just mean like she looked up and saw the staircase. You don't get those shots as frequently anymore. Oh, all right. But remember, just for tonight. Ah, she's adorable. That's all it took? Mm-hmm. She might be lonely. Just for tonight. That's very good transition. Right. <laughs> wow. They remastered this. <laughs> Lady gets her way. Lady, all right. I'm up. Oh, no. Oh, I do that same thing. Orthostatic hypotension. Ooh. So tell me she's gonna put the flower back. <laughs> <laughs> A rat on a Sunday morning? A really nice neighborhood. Ooh, good job! Who's a good boy? Who's a girl? Who's a girl? Who's a girl? Since we ah! disturbing headlines. <laughs> so many cute details. Yes, I just... Say, she must be about six months old. Is that all? She gets coffee and donuts? What a great color! What color is that? Cerulean. Cerulean. We found your character. <laughs> we found your character. Dude! <laughs> Oh, it's you, Lassie. Notice anything different? <laughs> uh, you've had a bath. You've had your nails clipped? Mm -mm. Well, I, I wouldn't be a known. Do you like it? I... Mm, it must be very expensive. Best go at once. <laughs> you know how sensitive he is about these things. I bet you I'm going to be Get trusting. These houses. I bet you... Yeah. So that's you, yeah. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> that was before... Before what? It's time you knew the truth, lassie. It shouldn't have happened to a dog. Lost his sense of smell. <gasps> no. Right. Uh, oh, which way did he go? Which way did he go? About uh, six foot two. No, uh, three. Four <laughs> striped suit, no collar. <laughs> Miss Lady. You have a collar. You have a collar. My, my. There she is, a full grown <laughs> lady. When the <laughs> so greatest cute. honor man can be stole. The bad be stole. Be stole. That's right. Oh, she did a hair flip with her ears. <laughs> Reliable, you have, laddie. Yeah. Please excuse me. Mm. Come on, beat your home. Dogs oh, are so loyal. Win again. Eddie. Well, what have we here? Oh, ladies first. Was that Hubba Bubba? You know, darling, with a lady here, I'd say life is quite complete. Act one set, I'm on my way out. 
just by the way they're talking. Uh-huh. Ooh, spade to black, act two said, here I am. Yep, yep. I don't know if anything could ever change our lives. Ever. If anyone ever says that in reality or in a movie, you know act one is complete. Yep. <sighs> You are so susceptible. It's just <laughs> such a good thing to yawn. Wow, they really animated him. Mm-hmm. He looks like Balto. Well, mm. All right, I'm getting the sense that you're a lady and I'm Tramp. Oh, yeah? Oh, cute little rascals. Goochie, 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 goo. Ah, at breakfast, let's see. Ernie's? Mm. No. I love this perspective. Mm. Tony's. Oh, that's it. Tony's. I've been there in a week. To make a pizza. <sighs> this is probably one of the less sensitive characterizations. <laughs> Why does a pizza store have bones? Chicken pizza. <gasps> the dog pound. Warning. Notice is hereby given that any unlicensed dog will be immediately impounded by order of city council. <gasps> so he reads English? To join the party. Oh, that's Ooh. Peggy Lee. What a great voice. That's Peggy Lee. I'm signs all over town. Gee, thanks. Gee, thanks. Run! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Typical. Look this way. Look that way. He's not around. <laughs> I'll bet they've got a lid on every trash can. <laughs> That's how you know they're affluent. That's right. I bet you they have a lid on every trash can. <laughs> what an observation. It's something I've done, I guess. Jim, dear, and darling are acting so. Oh, she has a baby. Ooh, the dogs are having a quiet secret meeting. I first noticed it the other day when Jim Deere came home. Down, lady, down. Darling, darling, are you all right? I have no idea what's happening. She's pregnant. All in your yeah, condition, yeah. alone here all day. It's the only thing it can be. Walking that dog. That dog? That dog. He's never called me that before. I wouldn't have worried my wee head about that. Remember, they're only humans after all. That's right, Miss Lady. Uh, there's my grandpappy, old reliable. You been old reliable before? I <laughs> have, buddy. Uh, frequently. Oh, yeah. Not today, lady. I'm making my baby slippers. No, lady. Not now. Drop it, I say. Oh. It didn't hurt, really. Never struck me for. There comes a time in the life of all humans when, uh, well, as they put it, uh, the birds and the bees. What he's trying to say, Lassie, is darling is expecting a wee bairn. <laughs> he means a What's a baby? Well, they resemble humans. They walk on all fours. And if I remember correctly, they bear a lot. Her necklace better. is a different color now. Mm-hmm. <gasps> mm. Maybe she has a few of them. It was just blue. Cerulean. Cerulean. No, but now it's blue You're again. Horrible <laughs> scratch and... Put that dog out! And please, all over the baby! Stop that racket! You'll wake the baby! <laughs> then, remember those nice, juicy cuts of beef? Ooh! I got him. Oof. 
out in the doghouse. Dog oh dear. Dinner, listen, lassie. No human is that cruel. Uh. <laughs> oh, come on now, fellas. Oh, you haven't followed the that old line now, have you? He's so I, jaded. I, mm -hmm. no I hope we get his history and backstory too. I imagine. A lad of Glen Cairn to you. Okay, okay, okay. Remember this, pigeon. The human heart has only so much room for love and affection. The baby moves in. Dog moves out. Act one. <laughs> act one. It was a bit like Act two A, actually. Yes, we had Act one. Music. We're getting a song. Oh, that would have been cool. Darling, door was Yale. Yale. Is there? I'm afraid not. Nobody ever knows for certain. Hope. Darling sounds like Peggy Lee. Mm. That dog in the carrot, the yeah, sound cart like sounds like Peggy Lee. I really like when they move from month to month, that animation that they have. Mm -hmm. It's very trippy and not something I would have expected from 1956. Darling, are you sure you want watermelon? And some chop suey too. <laughs> What's chop suey? It's a, a Chinese food that you get in American Chinese food stores anyway, uh -huh. made with celery and I don't really like it. Is it a soup? No, it's on rice. <laughs> Cheer up, Jimbo! <laughs> oh, the month. Oh, great! Whoa. Yes, and Sarah, it's a boy. Eyes? Oh, what color are they? Well, oh, gosh. It's a boy. It's a doctor. Uh-huh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. It's a boy. Hello. 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 This movie has, like, so far, established some pretty nuanced messaging. Yes. About taking care of animals and compassion. Mm -hmm. I just wonder if they're going to deliver on it. Must be something wonderful. Cause everybody's smiling. I didn't know this was a musical. It has songs. Wow. I love that shot. I want that to be my wallpaper. <laughs> They do everything they can to not have to animate a human face. That's the point of this movie, I think. I must find out today what makes Jim dear and darling at this place. La oh my little star sweeper, I'll sweep the star that's for you. La Ugh, I vibe with the lighting, how they use coloring to effectively show that they're shading. Mm-hmm, and, and the softness of the light. So diffuse with the sun. Mm. I like that she looked up at them. Aw, she loves him. He looks dusky, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is he breathing? Said the pediatrician. Oh my gosh, he looks a bit blue. <laughs> he, baby's supposed to be pink. Is he jaundiced? <laughs> kind of was flat. <laughs> Enough here to take us halfway to China. Jim, I just can't leave him. He feels so small and helpless. He'll be all right. What's the matter with the lady? Oh, she thinks we're running out on him. Don't worry, old girl. We'll be back in a few days. Oh, there's the old girl now. Aunt Sarah, she sounds fun. She's an old girl. No, 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 no fussing. I know my way around. On your way now, mustn't miss you. Looks like one of the, the fairies. The fairies in um, yeah, yeah, and the voice too. Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. I love Aunt Sarah already. <gasps> I dislike Aunt Sarah already. Oh, good gracious, what are you doing here? Go on now, shoot, shoot, scat, get down with me. And Sarah's got it coming for her. <laughs> oh, she's a cat person. Oh, that's where this song comes from. They're so well animated. They're so stylized. <gasps> <gasps> the 
They scratched the piano! Oh my gosh! Cats. They're serpentile. Mm. Oh! The fish, the fish, the fish, the fish, the fish, the fish, the fish! Oh! oh! This fish is on his last breath. I love that! Yeah. But they animate it to the beat. Ugh, cats. Aunt Sarah, if only you saw what happened right before you walked in. Oh, they're <laughs> such jerks! <laughs> so sneaky. Well, I want them to look back at her. I want them to look back at her. Yes! Yes! What can I do for you? I want a muscle. A good, strong oh. muscle. Here's our latest combination leash and muscle. Like this and... Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 yeah. The kind of white eyes in the, the shade. The, the shading, yeah. <laughs> He's a street dog. And the others aren't. The others are more like sewer dogs. Sorry. He's probably really injured. I hope he's injured. Hey, Pidge, what are you doing on this side of the tracks? Oh, you poor kid. We've got to get this off. I think I know the very place. He's I thought he was going to misuse her. Oh, no. He's, he's so suave. He's, so he's, he's suave, the lady. He's, he has lots of integrity. So he's the lady. Okay. Men can have integrity, too. I know. They better. I know. What's the matter, Pidge? We can't go in. That's, that's the angle. I'm so glad that they taught dogs how to read. <laughs> how to read. I beg your pardon. Do read. Why, yes, in several languages. Oh. <laughs> Get down. Go on, Why, certainly not, officer. Uh, it was the dog that was whistling, eh? I'm certain I don't know. Oh! Oh, it's a zoo. It's a zoo. Giraffes! Come on, bitch. The place is ours. Tight security in this zoo. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Apes. Ape house. Oh, no. No use even asking them. They wouldn't understand. They wouldn't? They're closely related to humans. Ah! Uh... Yeah. <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hyenas. <laughs> I love this scene! What a remarkable idea! Wow, this looks exactly like the character the from Winnie the Pooh. The beaver? Yeah, he even does the same lisp. I don't remember the beaver in Winnie the Pooh. He's a uh, gray. Yeah, well, this will only take a second of your time. Only a second. Wasted over that spillway. Yeah, but God. And it cuts log hauling time 66%. 66%, eh? Remove it. Simply place the strap between your teeth. Like this? You see? That is simple. Old friend, we'll be on our way now, so. Yeet! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's not kill the beaver. Oh my gosh! It cut it by 66%. Say, it works well. Ah. <laughs> Ants, cats, muzzles. Well, it comes of tying yourself down to one Ants, family. cats, and muzzles. Hey, something tells me it's supper time. Now take the Schultzes here. Little Fritzy. On a Tuesday. Be good, and that's when they're after having that darling corn beef. Corn beef. What a glass Please. half full mm. outlook on life. Oh, this way, Pidge. Here's my own private entrance. The iconic scene, I guess. The lighting looks similar. Here. Somebody's a make the apple a fool with. Somebody's a make the apple a fool. Oh, hello, Butch. Where you been so long? 
Ah, uh, so they all have different names for yeah. him. Yeah. Ah. And what do you know? It's a butch. Hey, 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 Joe. <laughs> Bones are coming up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, Joe, look. Butch, he's got a new girlfriend. A new one? Talk a Spanish girl. <laughs> 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 oh, they're so sweet. Butchie, he says he wants a two spaghetti a special. He's a talking to me. Okay. He's a talking to me. Mamma <laughs> mia. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Oh, it's not the first one. Wow, that's special. Ah, where's my accordion? Look at this guy. Leave it to Disney to make romance between puppies. Right? This is the night. Mm -hmm. West Side Story. <laughs> Bella Notte. JM and EB? Who's JM and EB? What does JM and EB mean? <gasps> this is so important. What day is it? What's his name? But she's lady. Yeah. What is JM and EB? Someone please tell us, please tell us, please tell us, please tell us, please tell us. Please tell us. So pretty. This is the night the heavens are. Oh, and the humans. Mm -hmm. In this story, these were the days before people would have television to stay home for, even before radio. Mm. So they would watch the moon. Well, they would have fireplaces and talking to each other and mm. talking. And, yeah. Talking. Yeah. Oh. Human interaction. Interaction. Look down there. Tell me what you see. I still don't think we got his history. Well, Not quite. Nice a little home. pieces. I get his present. I don't get his past. Oh. <gasps> oh, and you see the sunrise. Mm -hmm. It sounds wonderful. What? But who would watch over the baby? You win. Come on. I'll take you home. The dog catcher is going to come back. We need some excitement. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Act three. <laughs> A million dollars. Start building some memories. That's an interesting we, we line. Start building some memories. Hurt. Yeah, by doing oh, things we'll outside of the norm. Mm -hmm. It's actually true. If you take a different route on the way home every single day, you force your brain to make new memories. Creating new pathways. Mm hmm hey, What's going on in there? Those A fifteens? This is living, eh, hey, kid? Is it? <gasps> There's a little bit of bird dog in all of us, eh, Pidge? I also like that the music didn't accent that she got caught. It kind of just happened. If you didn't pay attention to it, you wouldn't have heard it. It was only a visual cue. Yeah. Oof. It's a skanky dog pound. Give a dog a happy home. That guy is me. Long nose. <laughs> Tired face. He's in res. He's a resident. He's a resident. That's right. Oh, they look like they're in jail. Oh, they're striped from the from the bars. Oh, that's very clever. 
they, this is me and my friends at residency. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be crying too, lady. It's so sad to visit a, a dog pound. Cause you want to take them all home. That's me. He's optioning up. <laughs> well, they're, they're singing, oh, happy day. Yeah. They're singing, the song is um, Old Folks at Home. Home uh -huh. Sweet Home. Actually, the name of the song is Home Sweet Home uh -huh. from the 19th century. Like Home on the Range? No, it's its own song. It was very, very famous. Home Sweet Home. There's no place like home. And um, yeah, that's what they're crying about. Right, baby, in here. Is a dog pound a real thing? Yeah. Animal shelter. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Peggy Lee. All right, all right, you guys. Lay off, will you? Thought we was. Oh, can't you see the poor kid scared enough already? Miserable being must find more miserable being. Then he's happy. Oh, that's a great line. <laughs> Very Russian. Boris. Bodies. There ain't nothing wrong with it, dearie. The confidential. I'm glad for such a knick knack. Knick knack. Knick knack. Poor Nazi has taken the long walk. Oh. Through the one-way door, sister. Because nobody wants him. So they're gonna put him down? You mean he's... That tramp always finds some way out. Even Tramp has his Achilles heel. Let's see, there's been Lulu. Yeah, and Trixie. And Vivi. My sister, Rosita Chiquita Juanita Chihuahua. I think. What a dog. Yeah. Breaks a new I'm sure the lyrics or the script? Every Probably wrote the songs, lyrics and music. I don't really know. And I only hope he'll stay that way. <laughs> he's a tramp. He's a rounder. He's a tramp. But I love him. Oh, good line. I can mm -hmm. never tell. But I wish that he were double. He's a tramp. And there's nothing more to say. She comes across as Midwest for sure. Uh huh. When there's shadows, yeah. out of the spotlight. Under the spell of true love. The poor chump grows careless. <laughs> All right, baby. They've come to take you home. It's very sad. Very sad. Animal shelters are very sad. Yet, thank God that people can get rescue dogs. But, uh... I always wonder about adopting an animal versus adopting a child. Why not do both? Because if you could adopt another child, shouldn't you? It's, mm. it's a philosophical dilemma. I don't want to see anybody. Please, Lassie. Uh, we've come with a, a proposition. What do you mean? Well, now, neither of us is as young as we used to be. And we've both got very comfortable homes. That's right. So, uh, so to come directly to the point... You're both very kind, and I do appreciate it. Pe oh. <laughs> oh, hi, boys. Ooh. Anything new in the kennel club set? <laughs> Little something I picked up for you, Pidge. <laughs> Looks like I'm the one that's in the doghouse. Where's the bone? You gladly throw the rascal out. That won't be necessary. Thank you. Very well, ma'am. You mongrel! Aw, oh, come on, Pidge. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> when I heard they'd taken you to the pound... Oh, don't even mention that horrible place. Who could ever harm a cute little trick like you? <laughs> Who is Trixie? And Lulu? And Fifi? And Rosita Chiquita? Well, well, whatever her name is. I don't need you to shelter and protect me. Yep, if you go careless, don't blame me. And I don't care if the Cossacks do pick you up. Goodbye! And take now the bone's place. there. How could they do this live action is what <sighs> I want to know. Why would they do this live action is what I want to know. <laughs> Oh, the rats. Oh, oh. 
If anyone's ever seen Redwall. <laughs> Cloody the Scudge. What's that? You're scaring me. What is that? <gasps> it's gonna go for the baby! Oh, wow. Ugh, rats are evil. Even in Ratatouille. Some dogs are bred to find rats. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Oof, look at those eyes. Ah, ah. <laughs> hate rats so much. Be careful, bro. Not the don't knock the baby over. <laughs> I hate rats. I know. I like that. Nice, nice, lady, nice. <laughs> oh, 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 the baby! <laughs> he killed it? He broke his leg. Oh no. <gasps> Merciful heavens! You vicious brute! Get back, get back! Oh, it's gonna fall off her face. She's kind of hard to blame Aunt Sarah, really, even though she's not really taking stock. I insist you pick him up immediately. They're coming home. Oh my goodness. And if you want my advice, you'll destroy that animal at once. We've been after this one for months. We'll take care of him. Caught him attacking a baby. Good heavens. My baby. Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah. Aunt Sarah? It's one of your sisters. <laughs> That's true. Watch out. He's trying to tell us something. <laughs> Darling, Aunt Sarah, come here. Ah, a rat. A rat. You see? We'll track them down. Uh, and, and then? We'll hold them. They had to animate the streets with sludge? Come on, Disney. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I would look at him after he made every decision and be like, do you want us to work harder? Yes. <laughs> you do know that there could be regular streets. No, no, I want sludge. Okay. Sludge. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, boy. Sludge. Sludge. <laughs> His nose does work. But you've misjudged everyone. Wow. Hmm. I think old Snifferhead is uh, actually the villain of the movie because he's misjudging everyone. The Scots Terrier? Yeah. There we go. Pound. Right by the sign. This is in England, right? No, no. Really? Process. We can't be in Christmas time already. Trusty's gone. I need a breath. This is the little kid from um, Peter Pan. Mm. These are in the same universe. I'm convinced. <laughs> this is the same boy. Yeah, you're right. And that's the same mom from Peter Pan. Uh oh, darling. Visitors. More rats. Why it's no. Jack. Oh, trusty. trusty. Oh, okay. Careful now. Okay, I was, I was about to ding a bunch of points for them not giving us time to process. No, no, not you, young man. Well, Merry Christmas. Come in, come in. Freshmas. Oh, darling, where did you put the dog biscuits? In the kitchen, Jim. They've got their mother's eyes. Hi. <laughs> Well, and I see you finally acquired a collar. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
complete with license. Oh, yes. Be no living with him from now on. As my grandpappy, old reliable, used to say. Uh, Uncle Trusty. Huh? Ah, hell. Finds the news. Now it's about to tell the story. <laughs> You know what they do in Finland? They let elderly people take care of children in yeah. nurseries yeah. and in daycare so that the kids have supervision, but the elderly people have something to do with their time. And it kind it's of stitches together old stories with new understandings, life. new mm -hmm. life, yeah. Uh, what a great book and start with the Christmas tree. This is a Christmas story. I guess so. What y'all think? Wow. 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 <laughs> Let's talk about Lady and the Tramp. Thank you all so much for watching with us. We're going to give you our rating and then our review. We like to do story, characters, and then animation. Animation slash music, but also we're going to be rating on a scale of 1 through 10. Decimals are encouraged. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Ding! 7.2. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Why the rating? I would give it, well, you go first. Why? I asked you. Okay, I'll go first. I wanted to judge it based off of the time period that it came out. So there were a lot of insensitive things in this movie. However, it does have iconic performances. And I think that that's something that we can discuss, not today because we're racing to get out of here. Just at what point does it become offensive? Mm. Because I think that it was a diversity play to have all those different dogs from different backgrounds in the pound. Yeah. And they were like talking, making Russian references, making Hispanic references. And dogs are bred in places. With different homes. With different homes, different so, cultures, different right. countries, different purposes. It's not tokenism, which Hollywood can do sometimes, which is just putting in a different culture just to check box. This was yeah. like, okay, a pound from the town would have dogs from different families. And if I may interject, yeah. it's kind of dogs do come not just different families, they come from different cultures. Yeah. But you know, and so that, and also, so is it as food. So mm. where do we get other cultures from the restaurants? And then we have the Siamese cats, like the dogs are, you know, termed from mm -hmm. culture. I don't know where Siamese cats come from exactly, but, and all of that can be considered now insensitive for sure. I just wonder what, at what point is it not? Because you want to have representation, you don't want to have, you don't want to insult. Just something to think about, because I thought some of these portrayals were memorable, at the very least, memorable. Sure, and, and clever in many ways. Yeah, quite clever. Like the Siamese cats, if they didn't give them a song, but they still behave that way and just happen to have accents, would it be offensive? I don't know. Yeah. I think, and I think, it's or is it more offensive that they gave him a song? Exactly. And in terms of the story, I do like that they touched on the pound. I think that was one of the strongest parts mm -hmm. of the movie. And one of the strongest songs. The reason why it's not higher than the rating I gave is I don't really have a take home message. I don't, I don't, I know they touched on, you have to be compassionate, but then that kind of d died in. It was kind of a statement more than a message. Yeah, and I don't know if so much message as it was a little bit of slice of life, a little mm -hmm. bit of nostalgia being back in 1905 and 1956. That was only 50 years earlier. Lots of people would have been grown up at that time who would have watched this, you know, or take it, or they would have been at that age, maybe, you know, they would have been somewhere around older parents or young grandparents. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so that would have been really important to them, although it was very high society that was depicted. Oh, very high society. I mean, my goodness. That was a little odd for me. The movie is a slice of life movie. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is the world, these are the characters, and now we're done. And you don't really get, oh, like, they went and adopted. I guess they did take him in, but only because he's the main character. And it leaves me thinking, all those cool characters we met in The Pound, what happens to them? What's the purpose of this movie? I think part of it is nostalgia, part of it is just the fact that we all recognize, you know, we all love our pets. 
who are pet owners or pet lovers, you know, and to see the different kinds of dogs acting in that way it was clever it's and clever. fun. It's clever. It's a clever movie. I don't know what the take home message is. I said 8.9 because I thought it fell just a little short of a 9 to 10 range movie. A little bit for some of the things that were missed in animation, like her collar turned pink for just a scene. The newspaper went away and a couple things were a little... Inconsistencies. Yeah, that would be one of the words to describe it. No, it's it. actually a term. For the inconsistencies, I did take away points or couldn't build up points. Maybe there is something to the fact that there wasn't a stronger desire that you were needing to fight for. You wanted you know, everybody to fight for one thing. There wasn't that drive. It was sort of, this happened, so that had to be reconciled. This happened, so that had to be reconciled. There were all the little dangers and all the little episodes were kind of contained and one didn't really have to do with another. So there That's wasn't true. there wasn't a big drive to one goal. There's a lot of fade to black. This moment's done. Now we're in this moment. And that's okay. I it, it, but it didn't didn't rank it above a nine for me. Although I loved the movie, I really enjoyed the experience. I thought it was clever. I thought it was lovely. I laughed a lot. I smiled a lot. Um, we were both screaming at that rat scene. <laughs> Oh the baby! God. Characters. Lots of characters. Lots of characters. I wish we got more, mm -hmm. like, of their stories. I don't know. Oh, and, yeah. and I guess we, we can infer Butch's, I don't even know if he has a name, Tramp. Butch, little Fritzy, Mike. Mike. Tramp. All those characters in the pound. I want to know more about them. Yeah, I want to know where they're from. You don't have from. to know about all of them. I don't, but I... I but they were, they were drawn up enough. You right. Know, there was enough background and or trying to infuse the character with the culture they came from. This movie were made today, those characters in the pound would get their own Disney Plus show. This they is before were. franchises. Sure. Appreciate Although there it. is a Lady in the Tramp too, I think. That doesn't mean it's a franchise. It just means that somebody wanted to make money off of it. I, I feel franchises are cheap ways to go about making movies. I do. And, that, and it seems like today that's all people ever do. It really is. Come up with something more original again. Thank you. Like they used to do. I did like Lady a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. I, I think she I think she had enough self-respect and dignity. Oh, for sure and a sense of adventure. I also liked, because she was one of the more fluffy, cutesy kinds of dogs, I liked that she was actually not treated like that. And she had to learn so many lessons. And life skills. Life lessons and life skills, despite the fact that she was a very pretty, fluffy dog with mm -hmm. a shiny collar. Mm -hmm. And there's also a little uh, dig against cats in this movie. Oh, know. absolutely. Cats yeah. are the worst. Animation slash the music, it was just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that they so accomplished beautiful. this. And I also just can't believe that Disney constantly was pushing his animators to animate in sludge and in snow, lighting and shading and sunrises. You have to set, up, set yourself apart. Yeah, it was gorgeous. That sense of reality, but that sense of making it more romantic for the moment, mm -hmm. you know? They mm -hmm. really use the background to uphold that the romance of that part of the movie. And the music will be the last thing we touch on. I'll leave this to you, because well, I, I thought it was all I know, okay. All I know is that Peggy Lee didn't get the credit for her work in this. I'm assuming she wrote all the songs. Obviously, she did some of the voices, too, and more than one. She was brilliant. If you don't know Peggy Lee, she started out in the 40s as a big band singer, and she is a consummate artist, vocal artist, such fine, fine musicianship and she wrote songs and she performed until the end of her life. Hmm. Um, she's an icon, really, an American icon. How would you analyze the music that you heard tonight? I think the typical Peggy Lee that you heard was in the Tramp song in that in the dog, pound. Yeah, in the pound. That was the strongest absolute music that was there. Whatever music there was, I thought was excellent and I wish there were more. Mm -hmm. I will add that the Siamese song is so fun. It's, it is sticking out. I guess a success and it's up to us to put it in perspective. Yeah. And to, it's not something we'd want to create today. That's the part where I think it needs a, an interdisciplinary and intercultural discussion mm -hmm. because I could see it work today if we had a discussion about it. Like what is the purpose of doing it? Because if the purpose of doing it was to insult and offend, then absolutely not. But if the purpose was, no, 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 no. We are, we are making different, like if you had a, an animal from each household. Also the zoo moment, mm -hmm. so brilliant, mm -hmm. so brilliant. 
And if you gave different accents to different animals, is that offensive? And if you gave different songs for different cultural animals, it's- It depends. Yeah. I think yeah. this is a, uh, a video essay that needs to be done. I don't know if you ever could. I think it's an inflammatory dis topic. I'm sure you could, you could. You don't have to make conclusions. You can present things and just sort of- The internet doesn't like it when you present things. The internet wants to hear your opinion and then they want to attack I it. know, but get real. I'm sorry, get real. Sometimes you just have to present the question and let everybody else think. That's all, folks! <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching with us. We're gonna be reading your ratings and reviews. And as always, be safe, be strong, be swagged. God bless you, we'll see you in the next video. Good health to you and yours. Stay safe during this time. We still are in a pandemic. Please mask up when you're in large crowds. Yeah. And keep the arts in your hearts. Ciao! Bye! Bye! Boop!